Good morning, sixth graders. Today we are going to review for our chapter 10 mid checkpoint review test. Select the best term from the box to complete the sentence. A blank is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. That is a parallelogram. Next, select the term from the box to complete the sentence. The number of square units needed to cover a surface without any gaps or overlaps is called the area. Next, select the best term from the box to complete the sentence. Figures with the same size and shape are congruent. So next we're gonna find the area. And remember in a parallelogram, the area, whoops, the area equals the base times the height. So here's my base and here's my height. So area equals 7.8 times 3.3. So that's 25.74 centimeters squared. Remember, you've got to put the centimeter squared. So 25.74. Okay, so again, the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height. So we have our base and our height, and this happens to be a square, so they're the same. Some people write that as area equals the side squared, right? So we have three and a half times three and a half. I know that I can convert my half because one divided by two is 0.5. So this would 3.5 times 3.5, which would be a little bit easier to do. And when I do that with a calculator, I get 12.25. And I know that 0 0.25 is 1 quarter, so it's 12 and 1 quarter inches squared. 12 and 1 quarter inches squared. Now, if you wanted to do this the long way without using a calculator and things like that, I just want to remind you, so if I have three and a half times three and a half, whoops, I have to first change these into mixed numbers. So I multiply three times two is six plus the one is seven. So I'd have seven over two times seven over two. Seven times seven is 49. Two times two is four. Four can go into 49. 12 times, and I'd have one left over. So there's my 12 and 1 fourths. It's the way you would do it when you would multiply it out the normal way if you didn't want to convert it to decimals. Okay, now the area of a triangle is different. Remember, whoa. <laughs> the area of a triangle, area equals 1 half of the base times the height. So... This is my base and this is my height, my base and my height. So the area, whoops, the area equals one half of the 14 times the height, which is 8.5, okay? So when I do this, put that little times there, I basically have one half times 14, and remember whenever I multiply by a whole number, I put it over one. So 14 plus one is 14, and two plus one is two. So let me bring down my numbers. So I have area equals 14 over two times 8.5. So again, let's figure this out. 14 divided by two is seven. So area equals 7 times 8.5. So we've got 7 times 8.5. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 3 is 59. Move my decimal over one space, I get 59.5. So the area is 59.5 millimeters squared. So just remember that the triangle is half of a square. So you're going to multiply the 14 times 8.5 and cut it in half essentially, right? Because it's half of a square or half of a parallelogram. Okay, moving on to finding the area. 
Now on the trapezoid, remember my I have to, so area equals one half times the base one plus the base two times the height. So this is my base one and my base two. Sometimes they call this A and B. And this is my height, okay? So first I have to add my two bases together. So area equals, I'm gonna add the 20 plus the 17, multiply that by one half, and then I'm gonna multiply that times my height. So 20 plus 17 is 37, and times one half, so basically, put my one underneath there, so I really I have 37 over two times my height, so 37 over two times the height, and we actually know the height is nine, so I can put in the nine. So 37 divided by two is 18.5, and then we're gonna do times nine is 166.5 centimeter squared. And don't forget, remember that centimeter squared, it's super important. So I just wanna kinda of go over this one more time. You add your two bases together, you multiply it times nine, and then you cut it in half. So add your two bases together, multiply by the height, and then cut it in half. Okay, so this next one says a parallelogram has an area of 43 432, so we know our area. That's our area. And the base, a base measuring 18 meters. So we've got our parallelogram. We know the, the whole area is 432. We know our base is 18. We do not know our height, okay? So basically, let's make our equation for this. Let me erase this really quick. Okay, so an area equals the base times height. We know the area is 432. We know our base is 18, but we don't know what the H is. So let me erase this so I have some more room. So remember that the whole point is you wanna get the H alone. So if I divide this side by 18, I have to divide this side by 18, which will make my H or my height be alone and then I'll be able to get my other side. And 432 divided by 18 is 24. So my height is 24 meters. And if you wanted to check that answer, you could always plug it back into the equation and you could do 18 times 24 and you would get 432. So you know that your answer is correct. All right, the next one is the base of the triangle measures six inches and the area is 102 inches. So it's slightly trickier because now we have a triangle. We know that our base is six. We do not know our height. This is missing. We know that the whole area is 102. So remember it's area equals one half base times height. So if our area is 102 and one half, our base is six, and we don't know the H. So one half of six because one half of six is three, so I have three H equals 102. In order to get the H alone, I have to do, divide both sides by three, so I can get it alone. So now I'm left with H equals 102 divided by three, which is, which is 34. So my height is 34 inches. Okay, so the height of a parallelogram is three times that of the base and the base measures 4.4. So let's draw this out. Here's my parallelogram. The height of the parallelogram is three times the base. Well, I kind of drew a really bad parallelogram there. Let me fix that. All right, that's better, because my base is 4.4, and they said the height is three times the base, so that my height is three times 4.4. So 4. Point four time th times three is going to give me 13.2. And then remember that an area of a parallelogram is your base times your height. So 13 or 4.4 4 
times, well, let me fix my handwriting, 4.4 .4 times 13.2. And that's going to give me 58.08, .08, and this is square centimeters, or centimeters squared. So a triangular window has a pane with a base of 34 inches. So my base is 34 inches and the height is 26. So my height is 26 inches. What is the area of the window pane? So remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So if I do 34 times 26, then I cut it in half, right? 34 times 26 is 884, and then I'm going to cut that in half because I'm multiplying it by one half, right? So that's going to be 442 square inches or inches squared. All right, the courtyard behind Jenny's house is shaped like a trapezoid. So here's my trapezoid. The base measures 6 meters and 13 meters. So this one is 6 meters. This one is 13 meters. The height of the trapezoid is 12 meters. So there's my height with 12 meters. What is the area of the courtyard? So remember, I'm going to add both my bases together. So I get 6 plus 13, which is 19. So my bases are 19, and I'm going to multiply that times my height. 19 times 12, which is 228. And then remember, a trapezoid is half of a parallelogram, just like a triangle is half of a par parallelogram. So half of 228 is 114 squared meters or meters squared. So again, remember that formula is area equals the base 1 plus the base 2 times half times the height, okay? Next, but not last, we have rugs for sale. They're $4 per square foot. Beth bought a nine foot long rectangular rug for 576. How wide was the rug? So we need to find out how many square feet it was to find out why it's this amount. So first let's draw the rug. So we know that it is a rectangle and it was nine foot long, but we don't know the height, right? But we know that it is $4 per every square foot. So first we need to find out how many square feet she bought. So if I take the 576 and I divide it by the $4, that's gonna tell me how many square feet this whole rug needed to be. So if I did 576 divided by the four, then I'm gonna get 144, right? Because five goes into one one time. We get the four, we bring the 17 down. We do the four, we get 16, we get a one, we bring the six down, we get a four. So this whole thing should be 144 square feet. So knowing that, we know this side is nine. What does nine multiply? to get 144. Well, I can find that out by dividing 144 by nine to give me that amount. So that's 16 feet, and I can check my math. 16 feet times nine feet gives me the 144 feet. If I take 144 feet and I multiply it times the $4 per square foot, I get 576. So the rug was 16 feet wide. Next, a square painting has a side length of 13 inches. What is the area of the painting? Well, we all know that a square has the same sides all the way around. So if its side was 13, that means all the sides are 13. And remember that the area of a square or a parallelogram is the base times the height. So the area is going to be 13 times 13. And 13 times 13 is 169 square inches or inches squared. All right, this is essentially the same test that is in your big book. And I'd like you to now do the questions on the Jamboard that I provided from your big book. Good luck. If you need help, you know where I will be. Good luck.